For kids to practice with Lego gears, a fun building exercise is a device called the pusher. Its output must be linear motion to push a button and must use all different types of gears in the robotics kit. Kids build the pusher on a regular Lego base plate. But it's not easy to make old Technic bricks work together with new Technic studless beams. The studs don't grip as well as pegs, and the heights do not match. Well, this week we received our first studless Technic base plate, a new product called the MinuteBot Base. This is what you see here in the video. This example of the pusher is well supported with a very simple structure of studless Technic parts. There are only about 15 Lego parts holding the gears together, not counting pegs. This is a small fraction of the parts needed in the past for structure. The MinuteBot base allows kids to work completely with studless Technic, letting them focus on the real task of arranging the gears and understanding how they work together. Kids are allowed to power the pusher with an NXT motor or manually with a simple thumbwheel. You can see the red thumbwheel next to the motor. The motor drives several pairs of spur gears. Then the yellow worm gear drives a 40 tooth spur gear. Up above is another example of chain links. This is followed by double bevel gears and finally the output to linear motion using a rack gear. At the very end, the optional four ball gears and the crown gear have interesting features, but they are not used much in LEGO Robotics. Overall, the MinuteBot base works great for learning about LEGO Robotics. Thank you for watching!